good morning students welcome back in the last class we were dealing it with unit 4 atmosphere before going into today's session let us have a recap in previous two sessions we discussed about biosphere composition of air atmospheric layers solar radiation elements of climate and also temperature pressure wind clouds and rainfall we learned about the different types of wind and we detailed about primary wind monsoon wind sea breeze land breeze local wind jet streams and cyclone in the session we will discuss about clouds and rainfall children are you interested to seeing the clouds in the sky we all like to watch change the shape isn't it then tell me what are clouds clouds are large collection of very tiny droplets of water these are divided into four types on the basis of appearance and height they are cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds how many type children they divided into four types on the basis of appearance and height it depends on the appearance of the cloud as well as in the height of the cloud it is divided into four types they are cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds now let us learn the spelling first children c i r r u s cirrus clouds c i r r u s cirrus next one stratus s t r a t u s stratus clouds cumulus clouds c u m u l u s cumulus clouds nimbus n i m b u s nimbus clouds what are the four types of clouds the four types of clouds are cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds i am sure children you would have seen this formation of clouds in the sky the cirrus clouds appear like a silver gray fish they appear like a silver gray fish at very high altitude in the sky these may not give rain it is not a rain cloud it is not a rain cloud it is appearing very high in the sky so they are not going to give us rain cirrus clouds is not a rain cloud the second form of cloud is stratus cloud stratus cloud is gray in color and are spread out they are also gray in color they are very much distributed they are very much distributed that is spread out they may give small shower they may give small shower shower means rain children have you seen puffy white cotton clouds cotton like clouds in the sky very pretty ones yes these clouds are called cumulus cloud cumulus cloud look like a puffy white cotton and gives convectional rainfall these clouds are associated with rainfall lightning and thunder this cumulus clouds gives convectional rainfall with lightning and thunder the clouds which appear dark or gray in color are called as nimbus clouds the clouds which appear dark or gray in color are called nimbus clouds nimbus cloud appears as dark or gray in color it gives heavy rainfall 
it is called vertical or rain clouds the another name of nimbus cloud is vertical cloud they are very tall and may appear in many cloud levels that is why it is called as vertical clouds let us recap the four types of clouds cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds cirrus clouds appears like a silver gray fish at a very high altitude in the sky these may not give rain stratus cloud is gray in color and are spread out they may give small shower cumulus cloud looks like a puffy white cotton and gives convectional rainfall nimbus cloud appears as dark or gray in color it gives heavy rainfall the another name of nimbus cloud is vertical or rain clouds children do you love rain playing in it you enjoy when it rains right jumping on the puddles and splashing water getting yourself wet in the rain isn't it children now we will see what is a rainfall the condensation of the water vapor causes rainfall rain water must be saved and not to be wasted condensation is the process which the water vapors water in the gaseous form turns into liquid how it will happen when the molecules of water vapor cool and they collect together as liquid water you can see the water vapor on the outside of cold glasses or in the warm side of windows etc so condensation of water vapor causes the rainfall the rain water must be saved and not to be wasted it is showers of blessings from the sky it is not to be wasted in tamil nadu we have rain water harvesting system the classification of rainfall is of three types we can classify the rainfall into three types they are convectional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall shall we spell children convectional rainfall c o n v e c t i o n a l convectional rainfall orographic o r o g r a p h i c orographic rainfall cyclonic c y c l o n i c cyclonic rainfall what are the three types of rainfall children the three types of rainfall are convectional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall children now let us learn about convectional rainfall during summer solar insulation takes place in land and water evaporates from lakes ponds seas oceans and vegetations due to this a heavy rainfall with lightning and thunder occurs in the evening for a short period what is convectional rainfall children convectional rainfall is when the energy of the sun heats the surface of the earth and it makes the water to evaporate in the form of water vapor when the land heats up it it warms the air above it on the air rises it cools and condenses and form the condensation clouds giving the convectional rainfall these clouds are associated with rainfall lightning with lightning and thunder so when there is cumulus cloud in the sky we can be sure that there is going to be rainfall with lightning and thunder 
children a thunder is a sound caused by the lightning what is lightning it is a giant spark of electricity in the atmosphere between the clouds the air or the ground look at this picture children in the picture you can see the circulation air in the konkan area resulting in very heavy rainfall in mumbai raigad and ratnagiri districts because of the air the eastern ghats are the the mountain layers are there it will not allow the circulation to escape and so it comes northwards before dissipating and give more rain to mumbai and raigad do you know children the natural materials and living things including sunlight are called natural environment the natural materials and living things including sunlight are called natural environment next type of rainfall is orographic rainfall when the moisture laden winds from the sea rises as it moves over a mountain range it becomes cool and causes heavy rainfall the opposite side of the mountain is called leeward side it receives very little rainfall when the moisture laden winds from the sea rises as it moves over a mountain ridge this will give a heavy this causes heavy rainfall it is called as orographic rainfall the opposite side of leeward side receives very little rainfall cyclonic rainfall the warm air from the hot area is heated and moves upwards hence a low pressure area is developed and it attracts air from high pressure area owing to earth's rotation a circular motion of winds develop it gets cooled and brings heavy rainfall this type of rainfall is known as cyclonic rainfall rain water harvesting in tamil nadu we have rain water harvesting system right children every new houses or building is constructed the government insists that they should conserve the rain water that is available on the rooftops it has to be harvested and it is sent to the pits which are dug in the ground that is a must it will increase the water capacity of the earth that is the underground rain water harvesting is a technique of collection and storage of rain water into natural reservoirs or tanks or the infiltration of surface water into subsurface aquifers before it is lost as surface runoff one method of rain water harvesting is rooftop harvesting what is aquifers children a q u i f e r s aquifers and aquifers is an underground layer of water bearing permeable rock rock fractures are unconstructed materials like gravel sand or silt in our school we have an aquifer have you seen it in the corner of the place children all the rain water goes into that or the overflow of the water goes into the aquifer before it is lost as surface runoff runoff means it moves off to a runoff occurs when there is a more water than the land can absorb the excess water flows across a, a surface of land into the cracks streams or ponds so the water we get from rain it is collected and stored into the natural reservoirs like lakes or rivers or ponds or wells 
are constructed tanks and the water is infiltrated into the subsurface aquifers the collection of water in between the cracks and creeks before it is lost as a runoff before it overflows over the land surface and after the stream of river the picture you see is that of a rooftop harvesting of rain water the water is collected and it is reused in toilets in gardens and other utilities now we will see the glossary children condensation process of gas changing to liquid reservoir large lake vegetation plant in this session we discuss about clouds the different types of clouds the different types of clouds are cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds the types of rainfall convectional rainfall orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall the natural environment natural materials like things sun sunlight and also the rain water harvesting in next session we will do the evaluation children book evaluation answers i'll give you that's all about the unit 4 lesson atmosphere children have a nice day